Morning guys, it's Josh with Weekend Wonders. The birds are chirping, the sun's coming up. There's a brisk morning breeze. It's a good day to do a mod. Um, today we're gonna focus on the rear hatch lighting. I uh, addressed it in my video of five things I hate about my Super Forester XT. I don't know what Subaru was thinking. This little hatch light that they installed, it's pitiful. If you even put a box or anything on that side, you block your whole source of lighting. I don't know why they didn't put overhead lighting. To me, that makes sense, but maybe it was a shortcut. Maybe they just didn't care. I don't know. Regardless, uh, I was able to find a solution that keeps a very OEM appearance, and that's from Subi Speed. Uh, they make a hatch light that mounts up right here. So we're going to install that today. Um, gonna do a little unboxing for you here in a minute and that's my only goal for today before work so stick with me we're gonna get it installed up okay when you get your package in from Subi Speed it's gonna arrive like this let's open this up So we have our wiring harness. Uh, this is the part that's actually gonna plug into your stock light and then the power source. That way, when you open the hatch, it actually turns on both lights. Uh, here is your other wiring harness that's gonna go up through the rubber grommet and plug into, uh, plug into the light here and this will plug into the receiving end on this. Here is our actual light. Comes in a little plastic wrapper. There you go. That'll be a nice clean look up there on the hatch. It'll fill in that uh, that blank and look very OEM. And here's our instructions that are not in English. All right. Looks like we're going to be going off of the pictures, but that's why I'm doing an install video for you guys so you don't have to look at this and translate. Let's get down to it. All right, first step is going to be removing this middle panel and these two smaller panels. Uh, this panel can be removed by just getting your fingers in between it and the glass. It's always scary popping panels off, I know, but you just got to be firm with it. Set that aside. Now we can pop these off. And this one. Okay, once you pop those off, there will be a Phillips head pop clip on either side of the lower panel. As you can see right there as well. And so we're gonna take those off to loosen up the larger panel. Okay, next in the handle on the bottom, there's a tab and if you pop it with a flat tip screwdriver, there's a Phillips head screw inside. Remove the screw. On the inside of the panel, there's a flip out hook. There's a Phillips screw there that needs to be removed as well. All right, once you have those four removed, you can pop this panel off. You want to start on these edges and just work your way around. There we go, and it's removed. All right, for the next part, you're going to need the smaller wiring harness that has the white connector on one end. Uh, we're going to route this through the back of the hatch. So I'm going to take this end of the wire and I'm going to run it through to here because this is where our light is going to be. I'm just going to stick it through here right now just so it stays and then we're going to take the rest of the wiring and we're going to run it along this harness. You can use zip ties or you can just twist it around it but you're going to want to run it 
you can use these clips to help hold it in place, but you're gonna wanna run it right to here. And then uh, the next part will be working it through the grommet down to the rest of the wiring. So I chose to run it through here, and as you can see, I just kind of wrapped it around, ran it through the clips, and now it's sitting right here for us to plug in. Um, stick it right there, that way it doesn't go anywhere. And now we go to the second part, which is gonna be removing uh, this panel so we can get to the light and run the other harness up the side here and through the grommet and connect the two. Okay, for the lower install, first you're gonna take this out and out of the way. Take the smaller one and take this insert out. Now to remove this insert, there's gonna be two pop clips. Uh, one right here, one right here. You can use a flat tip. Okay, once the panels are removed, the next step, there's a Phillips screw in here that you need to take out, and there's a 10 millimeter bolt uh, behind this hook that needs to be removed. You can take a flat tip and pop this out to reach the 10 millimeter bolt. So we're gonna remove both of those now. For this part, I recommend having a panel tool so you can get it back behind here. You can always use a, a screwdriver if needed. You can see right there, there's a Phillips. Go ahead and remove that so we can loosen up this upper panel as well. And then we're gonna pull the headliner slightly down so we can reach the wiring. Don't forget to disconnect both ends of the rubber wire guard. You'll have to run the lower wires through this to connect to the wires that are running through the hatch. Okay, for the headliner, I'm gonna use my panel tool again to get in here just so I can get a hand. And we'll have to pop this down as well. There we go. Okay, now we'll take our lower panel. We'll pull it back and we're gonna start by disconnecting the stock trunk light. Okay, so you're gonna get your second wiring harness. This end is gonna get plugged into the brown connector that you disconnected from the stock light. And this end is actually gonna plug into the OEM stock light. That way, when you do open your hatch, it'll still power up the smaller light as well as the hatch light. So we're gonna do that now. Okay, once that's plugged in, we're gonna take our wiring harness and we're gonna run it up through here, through the headliner and up through here. And then we'll have to work it through uh, this connector and up through here to connect here. Okay, since this is two loose wires, it's gonna be a real pain in the butt to try and get through this harness. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I got a really big zip tie. Zip tie it on there. I'm gonna take the zip tie, 
run it through. And our wires are through. So now all I gotta do is keep pulling this through and then I'll cut the zip tie off. All right, so once you got it through the harness, you'll run it through here. Obviously you'll plug up red to red, white to white. And then we're just going to put our, uh, <clears throat> our harness back, clip it back in place and clip our, our panels back in place. Okay, plugged it in to do a quick test fire before putting on the panels. And it don't work. Uh, went and looked at the inline fuse and they sent me a blown fuse. And sadly, this is the size that they only carry at Ace Hardware for some reason in town. So I'm gonna put all the panels back except where the uh, inline fuse is, which is right here, uh, connects to the stock light. And then I gotta run to Ace Hardware and replace this. But everything else, was pretty easy. Uh, I'm gonna get all these panels back in place and just leave that one loose. All right, so all this is back in place. Uh, our headliner's back in place all the way to here. I left this one loose so I can fix that uh, fuse. And we're just gonna pop our uh, hatch panel back into place. Okay, I already popped out the blank, super easy. Just take a panel popper, it was in like this. Take a panel popper, pop it out. As you can see, uh, these are identical on the back, so they're going to go in the same way. Not too shabby. Just need to get that, uh, that fuse done, and we'll be able to test it and see how bright it is tonight. Okay, all panels on the hatch are all back put together <clears throat> line is installed and I'm just gonna leave this loose like I said earlier so I can get that inline fuse uh, replaced at Ace Hardware I'm gonna throw my inserts back uh, me the pupper and my daughter are gonna go on a quick ride on the trail and uh, when it gets dark I'll pop that fuse in and we'll test out this light later that same evening all right, got that fuse installed and uh, light works great. Here we go. Man, what an improvement. Lights up the whole area, even around. So if you're camping or you're just getting your groceries, whatever, you have a massive improvement of light compared to this tiny little thing, which we can even turn that off. It does nothing. Yes, definitely worth the 50 bucks from Suvi Speed. Um, man, I cannot speak highly enough of what a nice upgrade this is. And because it's on the same circuit as the other light, when you shut it, it'll stay on for a bit and turns off by itself but that is just phenomenal man i'm really happy that's probably my favorite practical upgrade that i've had so as you can see the difference is immense so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, I definitely recommend this mod. It's not hard to do. Of course, it looks tedious, but it's really not, and it's worth the 50 bucks. I'll see you guys on the next mod. Take care.